Thank you for having us. We are here today to present a proposed solution to update our TASH crowdfunding platform to mitigate some problems that we have in the current solutions that delays the investment and the transfer funds processes. But also we want to improve the resources and features that we can provide in our platform to better connect investors and business owners and using a new kind of technology, blockchain. To prepare this project, we set up a team, the Tesh Group, Ty, Alex, Sagar, Shi, and Harshad. We are from different areas inside the company and we work together to prepare these solutions. Now I want to invite Shi to present the current platform and the problems that we are having with it. Good morning, everyone. Um, as you already know, we were one of the first platforms that emerged during the financial crisis in 2008. Um, at that time, it was difficult for startup owners to get to traditional financing. And that's the reason why a lot of platforms like ourselves have emerged as an alternative way for startup owners to get financing. And after a decade um, working in the industry, we have become a market leader, specializing in helping startups raise capital through equity. Um, our platform architecture at a high level has four main processes, profile management, projects management, investment management, and transfer funds management. And we also relied on two external providers, which are the banks and other payment systems. For the investment management process here, you can see that um, the investor will send the proposal to invest to business owners. The business owners will look at it and accept the proposal. If uh, it's accepted, then he will lock the equity for three days. After that, um, we come to the transfer funds process. So investor will create an order and then transfer the funds to our platform from his bank account. And this process takes up to three days um, after that, when we receive the fund, we will transfer it to the business owner's bank account, and this process also takes up to three days. After that, um, business owners and investors have to physically sign an agreement that is outside of our Tash crowdfunding platform. So what are the problems here? Recently, I have conducted a market research and found out that um, we are losing a lot of clients. Um, a lot of clients have moved to newer platform and um, a lot of our complaints that I've heard was that our process takes too long. As you can see from the previous slide, um, our process usually takes six to seven days and a lot can change during that time. For example, an investor might buy other better investment projects and decide to pull out the fund and business owner end up not getting any funds. Um, because of the costs associated with um, documentation, lawyers, and also wire transfer, the fee is too high for business owners and even investors. Uh, additionally, we require physical agreement signing and not only it's not recommended during this COVID situation, but also it adds more to the delay of our process. Um, in general, customers nowadays, they want something that is faster and more transparent. Thank you, Shi. Uh, well, now that you have a better view of what are our the problems with our current solution, let me show you uh, a new solution, what we are proposing to you. Well, we really want to improve and upgrade our current TESH crowdfunding platform to the version 2 and introduce what we are calling the TESH blockchain. And the TESH blockchain has two important components. The first of them is the TESH smart contract. Using this component, we will manage all the project. We will manage the investments, the transfer funds, and also we will create a new management that is the equity. And a second uh, important element, which is the Tash wallet. The Tash wallet we will use to manage the money transfer between investors and the business owners and improve that. Here you can see how will be our new architecture to this version two platform. Everything that was inside our platform in a centralized way, now we are moving to a blockchain and inside this blockchain, we are using the Tesh smart contract and the Tesh smart contract, we using that facility, will manage the investments, the transfer funds and the equities. And with the Tesh wallet, we will manage 
all the, the funds transferred from the investors to the business owners, reducing the use of external entities like banks and the payment systems. To get a better understanding, what is this technology blockchain? I'm now inviting Sagar, our software engineer, to explain about the technology itself. Thank you, Alex. Like, so I would like to discuss the main concepts that we are working upon, that what will be the core behind our solution. So when we talk about blockchain, what blockchain is all about, the main core behind that is the distributed ledger, ledger technology. So the distributed ledger, when we talk about, it's a shared database connection in which peer-to-peer -peer are connected within a network. So the databases that are stored are not centralized, uh, are not controlled by a centralized authority. Everyone who is the participant of the network has the authority to, you can say, vote and manage the uh, transparency and the authenticity of the data. So we don't have to rely upon a centralized institution. So if I talk more about in detail, like how it's better from the one we are using right now is, first of all, if we can see here, suppose if there are uh, a solution where a database is shared uh, in a centralized way with most of the peers, then there is a single point of failure. In any point of time, there could be a possibility of failure, which will be compromising the data of everyone on the network. Secondly, the data could be changed anytime. So there are certain scenarios and the case studies where we found that there were some, you can say, fraud uh, activities in the bank where the data is compromised and uh, changed so that they can uh, fix up some tax uh, issues and some of the, you can say, fees issues which were related on their platform. And the consensus is implicitly trusted by the centralized authority. We cannot uh, build a transparency there. But if you go for a distributed solution, there is no single point of failure as everyone on the node will have a own copy of the very latest data that has been approved by the team. Then the data is immutable. Once something is pushed to the ledger and it is had, it has been verified, no one can change it. It's like once it's there, it's there. And the participating nodes uh, work as a proof of, on a concept of proof of work where they vote uh, and check with the computation with their computation powers like uh, with verifying all the data on the node, is it valid or not? If it's valid, then it get introduced into the blockchain or else it's rejected. So there's only the valid data is introduced on the network, no invalid data. Now we know what's the code behind the blockchain. Now we can bring an understanding like what a blockchain actually is, what's a cryptocurrency and what's Bitcoin. Because these days when we talk about blockchain, there is a misconception in three of these things. So when we talk about blockchain, it's more of a concept based on DLT that allow us to record data into different packages called blocks that we saw. So that different participants uh, participating have their copy of data and each database has its own set of blocks that has been in, on the blockchain all over the network. Now we know that it's a concept on which uh, DLT runs. Now what is cryptocurrency then? Cryptocurrency is you can say one of the application of blockchain that is used in order to form digital assets. So instead of just using a physical form of uh, you can say currency, they introduced a digital form of asset to just as a medium of exchange for the market. And the blockchain allows to manage those transactions and uh, the issuing of those currencies to each of the participants in a decentralized way so that it is transparent and not controlled by a centralized authority. And what is Bitcoin? And Bitcoin is furthermore, if we go deeper, it's a type of a cryptocurrency that is that was formed in 2008 by an anonymous group or a person. Uh, which is currently used as one of the form of cryptocurrency on the platform. So like we have all the basic understanding of blockchain and how, how DLT works. I would uh, like Harshad to come in and just discuss more about the solution and the process, how we gonna apply this. Thank you, Sagar. So this is the Tash wallet. So the Tash wallet will act as a account for investors and business owner who can add and withdraw funds from uh, our platform. And this is how it will work. So the investor will uh, add funds to the uh, Tash wallet uh, so that he can choose to invest in any of the businesses and the transaction will be instant. And the business owner will use that Tash wallet uh, to withdraw funds and receive funds from the investors so that uh, that transaction will also be very instantaneous. 
and uh, this is the smart contract the tash smart contract so when the investor will create an order for investment the funds will be transferred to the business owner's wallet and uh, that will be done uh, immediately and uh, the business owner will then accept uh, that investment uh, and then the agreement will be reached between the investors and the business owners in terms of the equity uh, which will depend on the amount uh, the investor is going to invest as harsha talked about like we will be implementing and shortening up the process with all the delays that we had in the earlier version so the concept here is like when we were be uh, adopting the blockchain solution so what will be the structure and how we will be utilizing it so the main concept here will be like in each block whenever a transaction gets completed or a whole life cycle will be completing we will be storing that agreement that they used to sign outside our platform we will be offering them on our platform and that smart contract uh, that agreement will be comprising of all the details related to their transaction their equity holdings and the, all the details related to their transfers that uh, went through from their wallet to wallet when we have all that in our agreement or a document we will uh, encrypt uh, hash it with a hashing algorithm and we will be getting a hash value which we will be using in the blockchain block uh, once that hash value is embedded and has been verified on the chain so there will be no changes can be done on the agreement that has been made and that agreement or you can say the consensus that went through between both the parties will stay on the platform lifelong and there's no need of you can say third party solutions or third party uh, lawyers to go through all these processes so there are like very so many connected uh, benefits so harshad back to you if you can discuss like more what will be the more benefits related to this so these are the benefits uh, which uh, we, we as a platform and the investors and the business owners will have after we update our platform so the investors uh, will have uh, the benefit for real time transactions so they can transfer funds to their wallet uh, and even withdraw funds if they if they want to uh, instantaneously and they can also invest in the different uh, different businesses uh, at one time so for example if a business owner is in uh, is uh, adding $10000 to his wallet so he can use that $10000 to invest in multiple businesses so that will save a lot of uh, time plus uh, it will save a lot of processing fees for him as well and the business owners uh, will benefit by saving 0.5% of uh, their fund processing fee and uh, they will also receive immediate funds transfer from the investor which will be beneficial for them uh, to uh, just withdraw the funds immediately and in exchange of their equity and we as a tash platform uh, we will benefit uh, by so the operation gaps uh, between uh, the previous uh, uh, version of our platform and this the new version will be vast uh, everything will be almost automated uh, except from the approval part everything else will be automated and uh, we can also in this period in time after the law, uh, after the covid situation i think uh, we need to add more customers to our platform and uh, this will also attract a lot of customers uh, looking at the platform we i don't think there are a lot of platforms in the market who are doing this this stuff so i think we as a platform will also benefit a lot from that new technology usually brings some problems and some situations and and some new risks and it's important to discuss that for that i'm inviting tai our innovation manager to talk about the risk associated with this new technology blockchain thank you alex uh, obviously it's the nascent technology that comes up with variety of problems and of course there will be new and unidentified risk However, the trend is already accepted by people and they want to enjoy faster, safer, cheaper and transparent system. So our mission is to provide it to the people. Yes, there are some risks, but we can handle them. First risk is lack of regulations. Regulations on how blockchain transactions should be written is still missing. Our risk here is new regulations will bring about unexpected costs as we experienced in the previous regulations. Yet the smart contracts are not recognized by law. but if recognize it as such coded legal transactions it will bring various remedies for breach of contract and another risk of using blockchain is public and private key security blockchain requires a public and private key to access a block those keys are set of cryptic strings of sufficient length that makes the likelihood of guessing them in truly astronomical since it is impossible to access a block without the right combination of the public and private keys this represents the strength and the weakness of the blockchain 
strange because no hacker can steal or manipulate data without the right combination of the case. But also it is a weakness because weakness of the system because all hackers need is a pair of keys to make unauthorized access to data. Since hackers know that there is no way to guess the keys, they will spend their time to steal the keys from the weakest point. However, it can be handled by education to our team on digital case security. Another risk of using smart contract is lack of legal liability. In the network, the legal liability can be seen like a problem for an improper or a malicious administration of a smart contract. Since it is not regulated by law, the outcomes are not available to invoke enfo uh, legal enforcement yet. However, there is a way to prevent this risk. To be legally enforceable, a smart contract must have all the attributes that make the co traditional contra contract legally enforceable, so that we can comply with the laws in terms of liabilities of the contract. On the other side, if we decide not to use blockchain technology, without a doubt, we will lose many co more clients because some of our competitors are already starting making progress. As an innovation manager, I strongly recommend to catch this innovation in order to stay in the game. Smart contract <coughs> technology is disruptive because it is faster, cheaper, safer, and transparent system. It can be easily trusted by our users because in the smart contract, if a project can't meet the goals that determined at the beginning, the funds will return to directly to the investors. In contrast, if a project meets the goals, the funds will go directly to the business owner without an intermediary. Therefore, investors will be more comfortable when they are making an investment. Now, for sure, you have a better understanding the problems that we have in our current solution, a centralized solution, a leader in the market, but we are not uh, almost alone. Then you see what we are proposing and the technology that will support this new version, version two. There are also some risks associated with new technology and you also have a better understanding of that. If you approve to go forward with this project, we truly believe that we can update uh, the current solution in several months and probably in the next summer, we will be ready to launch the Tash crowdfunding platform version two. Thank you.